Uh, you may know that when I came into the job last fall, I said no new strategy. Mission good, vision good, let's execute. And uh, I was in that mode for a good six months. Uh, and then my team came to me and said, you know, your narrative <laughs> that you speak to the press and you go to symposium is, what, is not exactly lined up with the strategy that you declared as being all good in the fall. So I said, well, look, if, it, if this is going to be kind of a bottoms up or we need to catch up, uh, you know, and get those narratives synced, I was fine with it. Um, I got sent, I don't think I'm exaggerating, I think it was a 20-page document, um, and I took it home one weekend and I read it and I went, eh, shoot, I'm the director of this agency and I don't know that I'd read 20 pages okay to get through. So you can imagine what happened between that and that was like a couple months ago to what you see today because uh, it's a page. I know we cheated. We put a letter in there on the left side. We, we like the letter. I like the letter and the ethos on the back, but, um, but really two pages, I guess, is fair. And my intent was to crystallize for two audiences, internally and externally. Internally, I wanted to clarify with the workforce those um, objectives that I would track. I can't track them all. And uh, so we landed on 16, four goals and four objectives under each. Now, I know we cheated. There's some that have two active verbs and all that, and you could quibble with me and say there's 20, but that's fine. But, the, but, but what I want to do now, though, is use that one page as a report card, a benchmark. And not everything's measurable in life, so some of the things are, you know, do better. But, um, but my intent is, is to be able to hold it up first inside and say, how are we doing? and increasing our access to our content at this level, at Unclass, for example. And likewise, I fully expect to be back here, or Orlando, I guess, next year, and put the one page up on a podium or a slide and go, let's take a look. Um, because I'm really more in the mode now of, I think we've got the team in place, I think we have the processes in place, I think we've got the I've got the overhead permission that I need. I don't mean that kind of overhead. I mean the DNI's permission, and I mean USDI's permission. I think I've got room to run. So time to execute. I've, uh, and I'll finish with this and take your questions. The, the analogy I've used at work is, uh, and this, most in the audience will remember cars that didn't have automatic transmissions, right? And so, uh, you know, there'd be that pedal way on the left or even on the steer column sometimes to engage the next gear. When I look around NGA, I feel like lots of my team has clutches. Because you can engage a clutch, and it's not, that, it's not that confrontational. It's just a clutch, right? And you don't get a whole lot of notice when you do it, but something's going wrong, right? The engine starts revving faster, and you don't get the gas mileage, and occasionally the engine will overheat and all that. But. And then I have a few more people, well, less people, but still a good number who have brakes. Now, they can really say, no, we're not doing that, that's too far, that's too risky. And you relatively few people that own that pedal on the right. And so what I've told them is I said, guys, I, I, I don't, I mean, look, we'll, we'll be legal, we'll be ethical, we'll be moral, we will follow the federal acquisition regulations, we'll do all those things. But I need more gas. So um, I'm trying to encourage, okay, let's execute now, folks. So let me, that's, that's, that was the mindset behind the strategy, but I'm happy to talk about that more or anything else. Yes, sir. Art. You know, uh, Art Polinsky with uh, GPS World and Geospatial Solutions. Uh, I attended the Emerald Conference last Friday mm -hmm. and talking to some of the vendors on the floor, they're excited about the possibility. Yep. But the hope is yep. that it's really what it's advertised yep. to be I and think. Uh, that there will be that openness to innovation yep. rather than uh, dogmatic approach. That's them. exactly the view I'd have if I were them. I would go interesting. But I'd be skeptical, and I'd go show me. So one thing I'd ask you to do, and I don't know if all of you can be here tomorrow, but we're, we're going to do a panel with my leadership team, uh, 10.30, I think, uh, in the main hall. And here's how it's going to go. Uh, I'll get introduced quickly, and I'll say, hey, remember me? Gave the keynote. Remember I told you about all that hard stuff, right? 
online, digital, all access, all domain, transparency, open IT, cloud-based. Meet my deputy, Sue Gordon. Sue, what are we going to do about all that? And, and, and I guarantee you, you will be impressed. I am. Uh, she's amazing. Uh, she's the right talent. She's the right enthusiasm. She's the right uh, energy for us. But those people you met at Emerald should now verify <laughs> that we mean what we say.